Hey, Steve Basic Architect for the Build Show Network. We're out here at our Riverside Project. Today, we're going to talk about door sill openings in the walk out here. So if you remember the video where we talked about that big, beautiful window in the header condition, over here, we also, we talked about that header condition, but I'm going to jump outside and just, if you take a look here, you'll notice that the top of the slab is up a little higher. This is just some temporary protection that the builder put in there. But basically you can see that there is a two by four here that's a temporary block to the uh, end dam for the concrete there. And we have that drop sill condition there. So that's so that we can make a nice waterproof or water managed pan underneath our doors so that we ensure if there's any water ever gets into this system, it doesn't leak back into our finished basement. It actually is going to be water managed and run out just like we would do our typical windowsill. So let's go back to the studio. I got a beautiful detail that we worked up illustrating this specific detail. We'll grab Big Red and we'll have at it and we'll talk door sills in a walkout basement. All right, everybody. So we are definitely going to get into some nitty gritty details today. We're talking six inch scale details. These are half full size details that we're looking at. And we're going to talk about setting that door down in a little recess and how we install it. So anyways, greatly looking forward to this. So hopefully you are. Got Big Red here. Without further ado, let's have at it. All right, everybody. So, yeah, here's our uh, door sill detail. Um, like we talked about, you know, this is at six inch scale roughly, or that's what I deliver it at. So basically that's half full size, right? So give you some orientation. You can see this is our ICF block here. And it finishes at the top there. We have this is our Pro Buck uh, closure on the top, and then you can see all of our concrete there. We have our rebar that's inside the brackets there. An important thing is this is our concrete slab, and notice you know. This is our, the height of the floor there. So when we actually poured this elevation, it was planned on being so that this is down three quarters of an inch. Uh, and then that gives us some <coughs> play actually for setting up a drainable um, back dam sill pan, if you will. So I treat the, the door down here basically just like I would treat a window up above. And you can see here, this is, here is the operable part of the door there. And you can see it's triple glazed, so it's of good size. Um, and that piece comes across there. So we have a gasket there and there that seal it. And then this is basically the base that goes in there. But in doing this, we set up the back dam with basically a one by here. You can see it across the back there. And then we put in a sloped piece on the front side of that. And then we come over the top of that with an adhered membrane. So that adhered membrane comes down and goes down there and then turns the corner and uh, goes down the face of the pro buck. So that's basically setting up our sill pan, right? If I drew those lines back, they would be like that. And so that water has the ability to go down and out right that's what we always want to do when we're talking about uh, 
getting rid of water. We want it to go down and out. So, sloped um, piece of cedar siding is what we would typically use here. And then stretch tape as our adhered membrane there. But because that's on a slope, we actually cut pieces that are inverted to that slope. So you basically, I'm going to highly exaggerate it, we have the sloped pan, we will actually cut little blocks that are inverted to that. And so we set those, after we do the flashing, those get set down on there and then the window or door actually gets set down on those little blocks. So if I look at it in elevation here, I would have the sill pan and I would have a series of little blocks across that door, but there would be these significant spaces that allow that water to drain down and out, right? So putting those small little blocks in, and those don't get nailed or screwed or anything. Those would just get a small piece of stretch tape because those only have to be held in place until the door is installed because the gravity of the door is going to sit on those and basically compress that whole assembly. We just want to make sure that when that door frame gets put on there like that, we have this space that is open underneath there that water can then drain down and out. Right, so it's, uh, I mean, you guys have heard me say it before, but they don't call it a water managed strategy by accident. Accident, water managed. It means provide a path, right? If water should get in, I need to be able to provide a path in my water managed strategy, and that path should be down and out. And there it is, down and out. So by depressing this the three quarters of an inch, it allows me to do all of this stuff in there and then set my door in there. And the way we finish that out is this board, the back dam, will get attached at the pro buck and then we'll have some type of finished sill here, whether it's a piece of stone or tile or, or something. We haven't um, determine that yet. It could be a, just a beautiful piece of wood um, that will basically cover that system and there'll be a little bit of, of an overlap here, overlap, so that that system can um, migrate slightly and this will just slide across there but basically cover up all of our water managed strategy down below and the doors nice and free to open. And then on the outside here, we'll have, again, some type of uh, either stone or uh, some type of uh, synthetic sill out there. And then we have our whole water managed system here that we'll talk about in the future of our veneered stone with the lath and such behind it. So anyways, there you have it. That's our sill detail at our walkout door in the basement. All right, everybody. So there you have it. Big Red came and conquered. That's my exterior door sill detail in a basement walkout. I ain't got anything more for you. Six inch detail. The only thing better than that is actually building the darn thing. So anyways, speaking about building a darn thing, you know, I have handfuls of colleagues on the Build Show Network that are putting up videos every week. Yes, that is a ton of information. I think you could almost make it a full-time job doing nothing but watching Build Show Network. So definitely uh, 40 hours worth of content a week. But anyways, don't lose your job over it, but do check it out. A um, lot of great information coming down the pipe from all these guys and gals, Drywall Shorty specifically. Um, but yeah, check it out. If you want more from me, Steve Basic Architect, you can find me on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, all those audio channels or video channels, social media channels. I'm out there. Go check it out. And lastly, Unbuild a Podcast. That's where Jake Bruton, Peter Yost, and myself team up. Three amigos talking about building. So go enjoy it. 
Until next time, Steve Basic Architect from the Build Show Network, along with our buildings.